Hello and welcome to the studio. Onboard video has become a staple of performance car enthusiasts everywhere. And no wonder, there's no better way to give people an insight into what goes on from the driver's perspective. Today I'd like to share a few tips on how to shoot better looking onboard video from your street track or race car. So without further ado, here are 5 do's and don'ts for shooting attractive in-car video. Number 1. Do shoot at high frame rates. Always set your camera to shoot at 60 FPS or 50 FPS if you live in a PAL video region. Things happen fast in a car and you lose all sensation of speed when you shoot at low frame rates. Even if this means that you have to shoot at a slightly lower resolution, go with the option that gives you the smoothest video. Number 2. Don't use digital image stabilization. Built-in image stabilization is a wonderful tool for shooting handheld video, but it does weird things when you're shooting from inside a car. Take a look at the left hand side of the screen. See how the camera seems to wander left and right? That's not a loose camera mount. That's the built-in digital image stabilization in my action cam causing that to happen. If your action cam is a smartphone, or if your car vibrates a lot at speed, you may also get a jello-like screen wobble. If you get either of these types of problems in your in-car video footage, turn the digital video stabilization off. Do use a solid camera mount. Cars vibrate a lot. If you don't want your footage to look like this blurry, vibrating mess, Mount your camera to a solid part of your car using a solid camera mount. Avoid panels like the hood and the trunk, which can deform and vibrate at high speeds. Instead, attach your camera to a more solid surface like the rear window of your car or the inside of the front windshield. If your car has a roll cage, use a roll cage mount to attach it directly to the chassis. They're not expensive and they do a great job of eliminating unwanted vibrations. As far as mounts go, ones like this with the short arms are more vibration resistant than the ones with these long arms. If you use a cell phone, try out one of these RAM X-Grip mounts. They're solidly built and they're well worth the small premium that they charge over cheaper suction mounts. Number four, don't be afraid of wide angle mode. Almost every modern action cam comes with narrow and wide angle modes, but most drivers limit themselves to the narrow angle lens because they don't like the fisheye effect that they get from using the wide angle. The wide angle lens gives in-car cockpit footage a less claustrophobic look because you can capture the view out of the side windows. You can either mount the camera in the middle of the car right behind the driver to get this effect. or you can mount your camera to the inside of the front windshield and combine it with the next tip to create an even cooler effect. Number five, do take advantage of free video editing software. Specifically, I wanna to talk to you about two particularly powerful and free video editing tools. The first of these is Dashware. It's a program that takes the GPS data from your action cam or cell phone and uses it to create on-screen gauges. Humans are conditioned to trust numbers, so we can take advantage of that to make things look more interesting. You use Dashware to put a speedometer in the lower left-hand corner of your video. When the viewer sees that you're going 100 plus miles per hour, they'll get an idea of how fast you're really going. The second piece of free video editing software that I want to mention today is HitFilm Express. Don't let the zero dollar price tag fool you. HitFilm is an incredibly powerful full featured video editing suite that rivals expensive video editing programs like Adobe Premiere, Vegas Pro, and Final Cut. Not only can you trim, clip, and combine video footage, there's a huge library of special effects that you can use to add a subtle professional touch to your videos. For example, you can use some of these color correcting effects to give your video a high contrast cinematic look. Or you can use this action cam distort effect to remove the fisheye from your wide angle video. The end result is this mesmerizingly smooth roller coaster like view of the road ahead. 
Just look at that. Feels like you're getting sucked into the screen. Now HipFilm can do much more than this, and I'll add a link to a few YouTube tutorials for you to use. At this point, I'd like to take a moment to thank the many helpful drivers and car enthusiasts who volunteered their tips and tricks for this video. Thanks to them, I have many, many more tips and tricks to share. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Maybe I'll make another one of these videos. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to support our channel. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you at the track. Number six, don't forget to turn your camera off. Unless you want a two hour video of people wandering around aimlessly, don't forget to turn your camera off. Look at Mr. Oblivious there, grabbing his phone but forgetting all about the onboard camera. Oh well. See you guys next time.